this right here is the circuit. It's 175 degrees right there. Um, MOSFETs running cooler than a resistor. What I want to show is this little coil right here. I just have this uh, coil bent and positioned so that I can get, um, it's putting out about 30 volts uh, DC through the bridge without anything connected to it. And so what it's doing is it's basically just having a, uh, some induction from this uh, element and uh, through a full wave bridge and that bridge is going to this cap and you can see that that cap is the negative is going down to the negative rail I can get that to focus a little bit better where the negative of the cap is connected to the anode of the diode and the cathode of the diode is going to the negative rail the positive of that little cap is going to the positive rail that battery doesn't see it because the current from the negative on the cap can only go in one direction going towards the, the timing circuit through that diode backwards and the voltage or the negative from the battery cannot go back to the cap because it's blocked by that diode so that's how you isolate it and what's happening is that well basically this coil is charging that cap the timer circuits running on the cap first and then it's taking stuff from the battery second so it will extend the voltage on that what I want to show is I got the voltmeter hooked up to the 9 volt battery there okay 7.91 it's higher than I thought and what I'm going to do is connect it to the little cap and you can see that that cap voltage is higher than the battery and so the battery is not charging that cap it's isolated from it so what I'll do is put these probes on both sides and you can see that the voltage on that cap is 8.29 which is around 0.4 volts above the battery so I can see that with an optimum uh, an optimum coil wound in uh, the right configuration to take some from the resistor um, you can charge a cap enough to probably t uh, disconnect the front battery from that timer circuit and totally run it on the cap so the 9 volt battery wouldn't even be needed but of course you'd have to start the circuit first with the 9 volt battery to be able to get that cap charged to begin with and then you can disconnect that battery I'm not going to do it with this coil I had this coil that I used to sit over uh, a schoolgirl motor and uh, in induced uh, the magnets would induce current into there to light an LED so I just took that same coil and wound it like that or just bent it over like that overlapping the coil and right there is about where I get the highest voltage of about 33 something about 33 volts or so so anyway inductive resistor induces current into this out a full wave bridge into the little capacitor and the capacitor is fed right back to the front isolated from the battery so the battery doesn't see it so when that timer circuit's running it's going to draw from the capacitor first then the battery second reducing what that timer battery is doing here's a bigger cap I put in place of that uh, other cap this is 2200 microfarads 50 volts receiving charge from that coil going to the front of the timer circuit without the battery seeing it now I have a super efficient timing circuit that will hardly drain the battery